Um, so I don't really know much about binoculars, but I do know that when I got these Skymaster 15x70s, which were the number one rated binocular on Amazon, I was extremely disappointed because I could see double, double of everything. So I had a look online, discovered something called collimation, which is sort of uh, when the lenses or the optics or something are out of alignment, either horizontally or vertically, and these were terrible. And a lot of people, I even read some stuff that said they couldn't be collimated, but I've discovered how to do it. I'm just out on my deck. Let's see if I can get a picture of why I like them. They're a bit blurry. Where is it? And, oh, there's a, what's that? A cockatoo somewhere. Oh. There we go. It's a cocky sitting on an aerial. And there's a ship way out on the horizon. Well, I don't know why that picture's so bad. Let me try the other lens. There you go. I don't think it knows. Oh, and he's gone. Oh, there we go. If I zoom out a bit. And then if you look over the top, a little dot way off in the horizon is what I'm looking at. You can probably tell it's the afternoon uh, chorus of birds. Anyway, so it's sort of fixed, but not perfect by any stretch of the imagination. You have to excuse this, I'm doing my best with my iPhone, there we go. I'm sitting on my deck and every tiny little wobble is affecting it. And you can see that the lenses, I haven't cleaned the lenses either, so. Anyway, collimation. So you can see that they've got this, this uh, hand grip on the top here. And there was another hand grip on here, which I've expertly removed. So Skymaster 1570. So I've just put on a cheap tripod. And so, just as a trial, I heard somebody else say that a different Skymaster, um, you were able to find the collimation screws, and I did. Unfortunately, in the process, I've completely destroyed my hand grip, so I might try and see if Skymaster will um, uh, can you find another one. Anyway, this hole there, deep in there is a small, oh sorry, big pardon, it is this one here. Yeah, that one there. So just a, a normal, flathead screw both of these had a little bit of um loctite or lock glue or something on them but anyway so there's one up here so I'll zoom out a bit so you know where it is one there and the other one's a bit harder to see it is where is he where, where is it hiding uh, just in there in the corner see it where's my big bulbous finger right in there there's your second one. So, uh, rip your grip off. One of them adjusts, um, adjusts things vertically, the other horizontally. Um, and you'll be able to line it up. So all I did was at night, I put it on the tripod, sat really still, picked out a star in the horizon, uh, looked at it in both eyes, and then I just twiddled with those screws until the picture matched up perfectly. And you can probably see from um, from what I've been showing you that it wasn't perfect, but it's not too bad. And now I can make out all the craters on the moon and all that sort of stuff. And look at that, like these were, I don't know what they were, 60 US or 70 US or something. Delivered for, I think it was about 100 Australian dollars, once you add in shipping and everything else. Sorry, I know that's terrible. I'll clean them. An iPhone's probably not the best thing to film with. There you go, that's a bit better. Look at that. That is amazing. So I live at Winuna. Um, and in the distance there, that water that you can see breaking is a surf spot called The Verge. And um, that's why I bought them, because I wanted to do my surf check in the morning. From my back deck. Just a little bit over there, sorry. It's really not very good, but sorry about the wobbling. Yeah, there it is breaking away out there, a reef. 
not that I oversurf it, but it gives me an idea of what the conditions are like.